welcome to Redfern Oval uh, for the uh, Lisa Fiola Cup uh, Round 5 game. Um, and the, um, the girls are just about to come out on the field. I'll qu quickly try and get through the team list. Uh, for South Sydney today, the number one is Taylor Dower. Two, Olivia Jarrett. And the number three, Michaela Talanoa. Number four, uh, Jessamine Alawali'i. Uh, number five is uh, Alia Arabi. Number six is uh, Sabella Hain. Number seven is our captain, Kiara McGregor. Uh, number eight is Hannah Kaland. Number nine is uh, Amalia Casey. Number 10, uh, Kailani Manu. Number uh, 11 is Claudia Nan. Um, number 12 is April Chapel. And number 13 is Sophia Brightwell. Uh, on the bench is um, in the 14 is Emma Rushworth. Uh, number 15 is Tiaria uh, Rahute. Um, and number 16 is Victoria Lola Loleni. And number 17 is Lily uh, McGannon. Just hang on a sec, Milo. So we've just had an update. The number five is actually Aaliyah Gordon, not Arabi. Aaliyah Gordon. Okay, Aaliyah Gordon. Yep. But thank you for our helpers here from the Rabbitohs. All right, now the, the, uh, the Bears team. The Bears team. The number one is uh, Tamika Collins. Number two is Annika Yasa. Number three is uh, Tahira Ama uh, Amida. Number four is Alicia Martin. Number five uh, is uh, Nika uh, and Andrenko. Number six is uh, Shanae Cassidy. Number seven, uh, Indiana Carroll. Number eight is uh, Catherine uh, uh, Sale. Uh, number nine is Li Liana uh, Nagate uh, Mori. Uh, number seven, wearing the number 17 in the starting side is uh, Niyima Tua. Number uh, 11 is Elisa uh, Pearsall. Number 12 is Freya Cairns, and their number 13 is Kayla Kilich. Uh, and, the fifth, and on the interchange bench, the 15 is uh, Jada y Yamoni. Uh, number 16 is Nancy Ann uh, Bagiso. Uh, wearing the number 19 is Marwa Fayad, and number 10 is Maya Lloyd. All right, well, thank you. Oh, I just muted there for a second. Welcome to Bunnies TV, live and free across Australia and around the globe. And the Rabbitohs are just announcing the team here on the, over the loudspeaker. But I'm joined by Milo and also Dallas here for this call. We've got young uh, Arabi coming too who, who might be able to help us out on the call. But it's a beautiful day here in Sydney. It's expected to get pretty warm, 28 degrees. But at the moment, it's perfect conditions. It's about 22, to 22 degrees. Perfect for footy. And really light breeze. Yeah. And... <laughs> The, these teams, the Rabbitohs are one and four, one win, four losses, and the Bears are zero wins, three losses, and one bye. So they're both on two points. Yeah, they're both on two points, although we did earn ours, and it's going to be an interesting game to see because they'll be desperate for a win. And, yeah, I did mention you, Dallas. Welcome back, mate. Yeah, no, welcome, guys. And uh, should be a good game out here today. We've got a lot of young up-and-coming talent, and... Uh, Hopefully, South get the win here today and put, you know, push them up oh. the ladder just that little bit more. Is that, a, is that our mate Buddy Gordon just walking in there? With there the, he is. Be here to watch his the, daughter, the daughter ever, play up. The evergreen so. Buddy Gordon. The great man. We'll As show him in a minute. The Rabbitohs girls will be coming out. But here's the Bears, the North Sydney Bears. And welcome to everyone that's live chatting. We've got Karina Hazer already in the live chat. Good morning, Karina. Well, good evening, Karina. They're yeah. in uh, Germany. I, I know it's, uh, it's about... Uh, I know eight o'clock at night, I, I imagine, or seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. I think they're about 11 hours uh, behind us or something like that. About that yeah. yeah, and yeah. Karina is a channel member. You can see the little icon next to her name. And we're joined by another channel member, Michael Tasker. And also Milo is a channel member. So welcome aboard, everybody. G'day, Mick. And the Rabbitohs are let out by Kiara. McGregor. McGregor. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, so... They are without one of their star players, uh, Kirawan Duckett. She's been suspended for three weeks. For uh, She got a warning the week before and then got another in bit in trouble for something else. So she's got another week to go on the suspension. But uh, I'm confident that the team we've got here, Milo, will be good enough to get the job done today. Hopefully we see plenty of tries live and free on Bunnies TV. Here we go. Waiting for uh, McGregor to kick us off. 
Thanks for that. There we go. Nice little kick there. Right into the sun. A good take there from the uh, Bears player. And that's Elo Ali getting involved in the first two tackles there. Oh, good run there. Good metres for the Bears. From their number eight there, uh, Sale. Bit glary this morning. Uh, you can see the, the morning sun coming across the ground. Oh, good hands. A really nice backline movement here from the Bears. Up over the uh, 40 metre line. Oh, close to the sideline there. Oh, kick in behind the line. Oh, well taken there. And uh, as the crowd, um, oh, Taylor Dower. Yeah. yeah, you heard him say, well done, Taylor. Yeah, well done, Taylor. <laughs> oh, no, I just got thrown off there for a second. No, beautiful. Oh, oh, April. April Chapel there getting, oh, getting mauled there by the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a penalty. No, the referee's not going to have a bit of that. McGregor getting it down. Now, Alawali. Up over the 40. Here we go, McGregor again with the ball. Yeah, there's a hit up. Good run there from the number eight, Calland. Oh. oh. Some solid contact here early. Yep. Oh, geez, sloppy play the ball. Oh, and we got a penalty. Marco went just a tad early there, oh. big keen. I don't know. What, well, I think we got. Hey, Marnie, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Mark, I went just a little early there, Marlon. Just a yeah, bit, but, but a, a sloppy game. play the ball, I, I thought, as, 50 as well. Yeah, 50 50. Home Fair enough. Home ground advantage, that one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Here we go. Calland again getting stuck in, taking up a few players with it to the 20 metre line. Uh, they're coming down the blind side. Here we go. Chapel getting close to the line. Tackled eight metres out. Casey onto McGregor. There's Calland again. Oh, geez. Barnstorming run. She's only a couple of metres out. Oh, numbers left here. Plenty of numbers out to the left. Can we get the ball out there? Big pass. Oh. Well done from Talanoa to pick that up. Oh, well played. McGregor kicking oh. right for a winger. Sit up. Oh, oh. No, it's gone dead. Oh, well. It's gone dead. No, good play from the Rabbitohs. And we are joined by Imani. Welcome, Imani. Hi, how are you all today? Hang on, I think I've got you muted. Go again. Hi, how are you all today? Hi, Amani. Hi. Hi, I'm Milo. Nice I'm welcome, welcome to the team. Good tackling there from Brightwell. Getting stuck in. And there she is again. K uh, Chapel. Oh, they don't argue from Callan and Chapel there. Really throwing a, the, the little winger back. Or the little centre, actually. And the number three... Uh, a meter. Jeez. But she's back up again, a meter. No worries there. Hang on, I'll have to wait for a break. It's okay. Martin taking it up to the 50 for the Bears. Here we go. Cassidy. Nice little run from uh, Cassidy there for the Bears. Here we go. Oh. Mm, Jarrett let that one go, but she's got back there in enough time for it. Ooh, oh, big defence there. Yeah, number 11 there. Yeah, P uh, Pearsall. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Geez, there's some, uh, some really tough work out there from the girls. 
Oh. Ooh, ooh. Alia Gordon taking it up. Oh, no. Oh. And she's put it down. Oh. Oh. She's got driven back in the tackle there. And um, it was quite, she copped with quite a big hit there. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah, so we've got a special guest, Amani. And you're a former rugby league player. You're doing a sports degree at uni? Yes, I'm studying uh, sports journalism at UTS currently. Um, second year. Cool. Yeah. That's interesting. It is interesting. I enjoy playing it. I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy studying it. It's nice to be able to look at the game at a different perspective and commentate on how defence and play go hand in hand. Yeah, and you've, you've had a couple of bad knee injuries, but so is your career over and you're just going to be behind the camera instead of on, on camera? Yeah, it's unfortunately um, had some bad ACL, MCL ruptures too close together, so that's the end of my rugby league career. So wow. I'm going to look at it through the camera. Okay. And you know a couple of these Lisa Fiola girls, so yeah, we've got you on today. So if you if you want to jump in whenever you feel like it, you're welcome to. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, good. So the Bears are on the attack here. They're, let's see if they can take advantage of that possession they, were, they got. The Bears have had great defense this past game. Yeah. Come on the tackles. So far, so good. Yeah. We have got the scoreboard fixed today. There's seven minutes gone. It's nil all here at Redfern Oval. Oh, nice little kick in behind the line. Oh, great take well there. Is, it, is that Dower? Yep. Yep. And offload too. And Ooh, stayed and she in. just stayed in. Olivia Jarrett's just managed to stay in there. Nice work from Dower. She's uh, she's really confident uh, uh, getting the ball in her hands. Uh, yep. High ball and they're off a grubber as well. And she scored a few tries the last few weeks, I think. So she's... Oh, caught a Ooh, bit high there. Yep. Right around the shoulders there. There we go, McGregor. Get it on the calland. Yeah, good charge. And McGregor. nice kick there from McGregor. Yeah, the really left. good. Oh, oh the Bears bad. fullbacks let that go. Yeah. No, and there's Collins taking it back up. Oh, geez, she's made a break. Okay. Collins is away. Well, good cover defence for the fullback. Great work from Dower. Really good. Let's go, Bears. Get it up there. Come on, girls. A bit of support here for the Bears. Oh, look at that run. Post contact metres. Real good enthusiasm there. Sale taking it up to the 10 metre mark there for the Bears. Here we go. All the halfbacks. Oh, well read. Yep. Tackle. Last tackle. Go on the blind. Right. Oh, great def Oh, geez. Good offload there. Good defence there by South. Great, great offence by the Bears. That was a good pick up from Collins, taking it down with a good cover up. So good on the Bears. Yeah, well, she ran the ball back basically to where the ball was kicked. So that was a good return from yes. the Bears player. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Why weren't yeah. they happy with that play of the ball? Please, yeah. come on. Play on. Let it go. Oh, sir. here we go. Alua Lee again. She won't. <laughs> she's. She's uh, keen. She put a lot of effort into that first run that they had to call back. So, uh, yeah, the, the second run there, uh, not, not as much uh, oomph. So the Bears' defence is just uh, really good at the moment. Mm. Ten minutes into the game and, they've got, and they're really uh, keeping South locked in down in their own half. They are. And it's two, two proud old clubs in the... Uh in rugby league history in Australia. Well, of course. Uh, oh, here, here we go. Gordon. Oh, 
And that's Hain. Nice run from Hain. Here we go. McGregor. Nice high kick. Here we go. The girl's running through. Chapel, is she going to get there? Oh, oh big oh. hit there. Callendon Chapel. Yeah. Jeez, really put the sandwich there on Collins. Kick chase was a bit better that time. Yeah. That's what you Yeah, we just. Uh, oh. Oh, geez. But the Bears are just making really good meters at the moment. Yeah. Yep. Oh, geez. Good tackle there from Chapel. Real rough house there. Oh, they've got to get off their line, the South girls. It's too many meters, easy meters here for the Bears. Jeez, he's got, geez, he's got them back a fair way. Um, yeah. 11, 11, 12 meters. Yeah. Oh, Sale. She's just been massive. Um, oh. Sale. Oh, still Jeez. Going. Oh. Jeez. oh, big hit there from Brightwell. That put her down. Oh, yeah. Oh, penalty. Oh, geez, I think that was even the fifth tackle there. So we're really... Uh, the Bears have been putting South in their back foot and they're struggling to keep up with... The oh, geez. There's Tua, she's away, and Tua is over. Naima Tua, great try. And the Bears are first on the scoreboard. Well, yeah, Naima Tua, it was just a, a charge onto the ball, and... Uh, yeah, no, and Amani was just uh, saying how they've been going all right, and she charged through, beat defenders, and she was a late inclusion, the number 17, but... Uh, Bears would be happy with her at the moment. Yeah, uh, she had a lot, that was sh she had a lot of speed there too. She was uh, yeah, she, she's quite a quick player as well. And uh, yeah, she's got a bit of size about her. So uh, yeah, she'll be. Uh, you can see why they're uh, they um, why she got through the line so well. Hard yeah. to, hard to hold out. Yeah, and you can see the scoreboard there. We've got it fixed. Thank you to the South Sydney Council. <laughs> and. Uh, and the Rabbitohs for chasing it up, but with 17 minutes left in this first half, it's 4-0 to the Bears with a kick to come. Are they waiting for a tee out there, are they? Or she's... I'm not sure what's going on there. That's a, uh, that's a good, yeah. good, uh, good sign in football there when you, you know, defence turns into attack there, Mavo. The, the Bears just sort of held South down there for a long time and you know, they got a penalty and they made the most of it. A lot of, the, lot of the action action's been camped down in the in the south end and sometimes when you get defense after defense it, it can lead to points indeed so there she is on camera the number 17 and she was obviously you know they got some wraps on her because she was promoted to the starting lineup and starting prop, Mo prop Maya lloyd has been moved to the bench so i'm sure Maya will be coming on for a run at some stage but yeah, I, won't, I wouldn't be taking Noema off any time soon if she's going to be running the ball like that. Anyway, we'll go to the kick. Oh, it's pretty flat, but it looks good. Great kick there. Really good goal. Yeah. Well, I guess that's from the number seven, uh, Indiana Carroll. It was a, a low projectile, but that's all you got to do. You just got to strike it good enough and straight over. And that's six blot when they're just trying to work on the mic here at Redfern. So if you want to, you, you just push your red button, you're number four. Okay. Well, I'm knocked back there from the kickoff. Sorry, I was just. Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm, I actually, I, th I thought it was the number seven that kicked the goal. It was number six, uh, Shanae Cassidy, who kicked the goal okay. for the Bears. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that to the people out there that... Uh, There's a drop uh, ball there, strip and a tackle. Oh, we get it right eventually, Milo. That's the main thing. And welcome to everyone who's live chatting. We've got Darren Finlay in there too as a channel member. G'day, legend. How are you, mate? Turns the ball inside. Oh, sail again. Yeah, well, they're just... We're getting dominated through the middle at the moment, Milo. Uh, and quick play the ball there from Sale oh. as well. Oh, that was lucky. Oh. Oh, good offload there. And there's the try scorer, Tua. 
Souths need to get back on their line faster and move up together in order to stop all these little gaps from coming through. That's why the Bears are dominating mm. them currently. Correct. And there's Sale taking another hit up. Two, two, hit, hit, two hit ups in the first three tackles of this set. Mm. Keen. You've got to love that. A player that's yeah, keen to get in and there. just roll the sleeves up. So they are bringing on the number 10, like I said. They've brought so the eight, eight off, I think it is. The eight's the other number eight's come off. off. Oh, yeah. no, sales off. Okay. The eight, getting yes. a rest. So there's a drop ball, and we've, we've grabbed it. So a let off there for the Rabbits. And here we the, go. The Bears couldn't complete a set after the points. Which Hain is taking that up for the. Oh, Hain's been hurt in that tackle. Bit of a crusher. Oh. Bit of a crusher tackle there. Okay. She's fine. She's got back up. That's good. And the Bears player was protesting her innocence there, but the touchy was right there. The ref was right there. So here we go. Kiara will kick this out, the left footed halfback. No captain's challenge down here, Mavo. No, no. <laughs> no, only if you're watching the replay on Bunnies TV, you can say something in the comments. That's about the best we can do. And we are brought to you by the Genius Group of Clubs, and you're watching this on our George's camera. Beautiful stuff, George's camera. Oh, the camera is fantastic. It the is. Cannon camcorder. So they're just a little bit disorganised at the moment, Milo. They just need to steady the ship. It's that big defence from the Bears too. It's put really putting them on the back foot and uh, really knocking them about. Oh, here oh. we go. Oh, McGri oh. Not, not such a great pass from Hayne onto McGregor there. Negative. Yeah. Negative. So that was and, very uh, sloppy. And we are getting mauled by the Bears at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm sure the, the girls will hang in there. I hope they do anyway. So they've got the ball just on their side of the 50. It's a great want. field position again for the Bears to start a set. Alicia Martin taking it up over the halfway. Here we go. Oh, oh good offload there. Yep. Oh, there's a knock on. Here we go. Now that's just what we needed. A turnover. So Low percentage play there from the Bears. Uh, trying to offload uh, there in traffic. Yes. And uh, yeah, and it's uh, helps our south. So we've nullified the uh, mistake from earlier. Yep. Now, let's see if they can capitalise. It's right on the halfway line here. It'd be really important for South's confidence to really push up in this set. Absolutely. Well, it's good to see that they're getting deep uh, ready for the play of the ball. They were a bit flat. Here we in the go. Good run half, around. Last set. Okay. Yep. Oh, really big tackling there from the mm. Bears. Yeah. And they're really slowing down the play uh, for, for South. Oh, oh here we go. we go. Hello, Ali'i. Gets it down to the 20. We go out wide to the left here if we can. McGregor. Oh, nice pass into Chapel. Straight. Numbers on the left if we can get the quick play of the ball. And again, Costco a lot of numbers in those tackles, Maybe. slowing the play down. The Bears, there we go. Oh, chip over the top. Lane. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, so another error there. Unforced error has coughed up possession. And the Bears get another let off. Oh, oh good hit. Oh, here we go. Brightwell. So she's had a good game in defence, and Callan's in there again. They've, they've both been uh, excellent in defence for South today. Yeah, that's better defence. The ref's holding, still holding about 12 metres, referee. 
Well, it's, it's, it's good for open play anyway, and they're offside. Oh. What, what's this for? Offside at marker, was it? I think he signalled there. Mm. So. Yeah, yeah, the marker got involved in that tackle. She was uh, going... She, she, she looked like she didn't want to get involved, but then she's just turned around and, and done it anyway. Mm. Yes, they need to be a bit more disciplined. Well, they're certainly not looking like a side that hasn't won a game, these Bears girls. They're competing well and looking... They've played better than us so far. Yeah, their, their defence has been excellent and... Um, and they've really made, and their uh, big forwards have made a lot of metres up the middle. Mm. And they've uh, managed a few quick play the balls as well. So they, they, they're going really well, the Bears here. Oh, nice pass there. Well held up there from the number seven, Carroll. There's Collins. The Bears have just been extremely dominant in this first half, always putting stats on their back foot and just going on and on. Oh, let it bounce. It's a oh, no. G g well picked up there by Talanoa. Yep. A bit of a let off. The ball went to ground. It could have went anywhere, but the, yep. the Rabbitohs girl picked it up, Talanoa, and we've got the ball. Now let's see yep. if they can work it off their line and get down the other end of the field. It was, it was a bit of a nothing kick there from the North Sydney player, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it just didn't come off her boot really well. No. And there's a good run. You can see the scoreboard in the background. There's eight minutes left in this first half. It's 6-0 to the North Sydney Bears. I think that was Olivia Jarrett coming in off oh. the uh, right wing. To uh, oh. Jeez, we've just been plagued by little errors. And uh, mm. again, we're going to gift North Sydney some fantastic field position here. It's Wait. errors like this that cost teams the game. Oh. It's always important to be playing it safe, especially when you're down 6-0. Exactly right. So yeah, that was a, that was yeah, a, a pass you, from dummy half. You, that you went really want to wanna try and complete your sets without yeah. without too much fuss. And uh, the Bears have been doing a lot of one-out stuff to get their sets yeah. uh, moving 100%. before they've uh, got the backline movements going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always doing the first three hit-ups before they start pushing it out wide. Yeah. I think Souths need to start doing that when they're on attack. Exactly, yep. Yeah, well, forwards lay the platform for wins, and that's what they've been doing, the Bears forwards. They've really been utilising it well. Yep. Oh, geez, a nice oh. little offload there. Take her out. Nah. No, oh. too strong. Uh, 11. Yeah, Pearsall, that was, a, that was, uh, she, she's, uh, well, she, she's a tough player, uh, Pearsall. Trouble right here. We've got to slide. The bunnies need to slide here. Oh, oh no, that was oh, I'm not going oh. on. Oh, we needed oh, that. We <laughs> and just in the live chat, we've got keeping low L base. Hey, bring back the North Sydney Bears. Let's go. So, yeah, I I'd like to see them come back in some sort of form as the, you know, maybe the Central Coast Bears or the Western Australian Bears, something like that. Them well, as you can still see them in the New South Wales Cup. Um, games uh, around okay. the place so yeah it's not quite the same though is it no no it's 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 not definitely not it's uh, good to see your team on tv as often as you can so yep it's a good day out there at north sydney Aval. we had a lot last year yeah uh, Mavo and Milo went up there for the semi-final it, oh, it was a good afternoon yeah, they really the, good they played the warriors it's a beautiful old ground the, the old north sydney Aval, isn't it here we go gordon tackled 15 metres out where? Oh, here we go. Is that Talanoa? I think it is. Just struggling to get out of our red zone here. Yeah. Well, you just see the intensity in the Bears' defence. They were up in our face from, from tackle one. Here we go, Alland. Jeez, the Bears' defence has just been excellent. They've really t um, knocked our big girls around. Here we go, McGregor. Oh, oh nearly through the no gap. Support. Looking, oh, to offload. Great work there. Good work from McGregor. Yeah, show and go. Last tackle here. Oh, that was Aloali Al there uh, helping uh, McGregor out. Oh, high kick, wobbling around. Full back struggling. Good kick. Really good kick. Oh, Chapel. Big defence from April Chapel again. Always leading the charge down off the kicks there, Chapel. Yeah, she's had a good game. Yeah, well, the kicks is only as good as its chase, the old saying. Here oh, we that's go. Good, uh, that's good defence. Great defence. 
Brightwell and Manu there. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Here we go. Cassidy taking it up the middle for the Bears. Bugiso up over the halfway. It's that, it's that good, tough, one-out stuff that the Bears do well. They're doing well today. And Cassidy puts up a high kick. It's a good kick. Oh, oh. Dowler had a go, but unfortunately she's knocked it on. Slightly better defence by the Souths, this um, attacking set. I mean, defensive set. Yeah, well, and, um, but unfortunately the Dowers put it down there and they're going to get a real big chance here. You can see the scoreboard there. Four minutes left, 6-0 to the Bears in this round six. Lisa Fiola Cup clash. Massive set, this one. Here at Redfern Oval. So, yeah, they have to defend here. And hopefully we can get the ball back a couple of more times and try and put some points on. But at the moment, they're under real pressure. Yeah, Souths just need to get off the back foot and start coming up together as a line, calling who's on who. Oh, almost a shepherd there. Yeah, Cairns was almost through there. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Maori. Number nine for the Bears. And sending it out to the right. Oh, back inside. That was a great little offload. Yeah, that was the 5 8. Again, good defense from the Rabbits. Oh, yeah, they're up in their face. That's better. Well done. Good tackle over the top there. And that was Dower. And here she goes again. Oh, great defense. Great good cover. Yeah, they shut it down, didn't they? They saw her going for it and shut it down. Oh, oh. good pressure. Great pressure from the south. I tell you what. Um, Taylor Dower is, uh, you know, she, she really um, she really got stuck in after that mistake and uh, some uh, big, um, and she she went up high for a couple of tackles there near the, as the Bears were attacking the line and uh, she really wrapped up the ball really well there and yep. and uh, really frustrated the Bears out of that one. Well, she was probably, she made up for that little drop. Oh, good, good 10 metre run from Alawali'i. Here we go, McGregor, on to oh, Jarrett. Push up if you're in front of the ball. Very we vocal here. Well. Bears <laughs> fans here in the stands. They are. And again, you know, the Bears fans like to travel. They do. Well, they didn't have to go far. They only had to come over the bridge. <laughs> but still, you know what you mean. Here we go, Talanoa taking it up close to the 40-metre line. We go, Hain, onto Manu. Let's see if we can spread it and try and. Jeez. And a big kick here again. Oh, I tell you what, that that Bears defence is is fantastic Looking today. For McGregor. We go, big kick from McGregor. Here we go into the sun. Oh. Really well done. Got the drop. Is Ella Lee going to get there? Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, Chapel picks it up. Hold it. Oh, oh Chappell. Chappell's oh. away. Here we go. April Chapel over in the corner. Oh, South are on the scoreboard. That was a great run by Chapel. This is exactly what South needed just before the half comes to an end. Yeah, well, so McGregor put the kick up and uh, Alawali, Ali, she uh, put some pressure on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, catcher for uh, the Bears there, and um, and that caused a mistake. And Chapel picked it up, and uh, well, away we were. Yeah, so that's. Like Amani said, it was just what we needed. There's some, there's 40 seconds to go, so that'll be half time. And McGregor, who yeah, is a pre pretty good kicker, and Abel's getting a oh gee, I didn't think she scored that far close to the uh, to, to the corner. Yeah, I think I think they're ripping us off here. <laughs> yeah, we can't look at the replay, oh. but anyone who's watching that, have a look. And um, well, I'm sure she scored five meters away from the corner. I, <laughs> Okay, I did so. mention it earlier in the previous kick there. McGregor was leading the chase, and once again, she's down there. Uh, you know, we just need a couple of players like her in every football team, and it makes your life a lot easier. Well, it shows, you know, McGregor's the captain of this side too, so she leads by example as well. So She does. Yeah. 
Yeah, has she taken that out further? Then I don't think she scored that far out. She's robbed that's, herself that's of a couple a, of metres. That's a bit of a stitch. Yeah. But I, I think the ref the referee's making no, the, the referee call on pulled, it. The referee pulled her over. Yeah, said, no, yeah. she she wanted to go in a bit more, but yeah, the referee's. Uh, well, look, I'm, I'm not discounting her and knocking this over because I've seen her kick some good goals from out wide. It's probably it's a bit harder from out here, but she strikes it well usually. Oh, nice heading the right way, oh, just see, not if enough. That, if she was that little bit closer, I would have gone over. <laughs> yep. Just they didn't have the legs. Well, it was a great way to end the first half for South, so it'll really help their confidence with the second half. All right, so we'll have a little break and we'll be back shortly with the second half here at Redfern Oval. All right, so welcome. <coughs> um, now, do you want to do <coughs> a little uh, practice so I can get you on camera and you can have a little chat? <laughs> um, now we'll just talk, so if you want to just stand where Milo is, put your headset back on, well, you can be our... Yeah, That's right, no, I'll just interview you. So you just, I'll just interview you, you just follow what I'm saying. I'll, I'll interview you, all right? <coughs> Okay, so we've got our very own Lara Pitt here. Amani, welcome to Hi. Bunnies TV. Welcome, Steve. Now, just tell us your story and how you came here to be on the mic on Bunnies TV. Well, it all started off with had a dream as a little girl. I always wanted to play competitive rugby league. Played rugby league since I was 13. Unfortunately, two years ago, I did my um, ACL, MCL. And that put me out of the game for around two to three years. Tried to make a comeback last year, but unfortunately couldn't get back into it. So now I'm here to show the game and live the game through through the camera. So when I was about your age, I wanted to be a, a journalist. And uh, you know, I like always like writing and media and that sort of stuff. So how did you decide that you want to be a, a sports presenter, uh, journalist slash journalist? I don't know really. I just, I guess I've always had an interest in the camera and people on the field talking about game plays. It's always a nice way to experience the game through the camera without having being on the field. It's a good way to get everyone into it and how to get your audience to really feel the game. Cool. So what would you like to eventually do? So you, how, how long is the course? And then after that, what are you looking to do? Um, it's a three year course. I'm yep. currently second year, so I graduate next year. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully again, hopefully wanting to get into either um, NRL, AFL, anything that's like really football based. Well, the women's game and women in the rugby league media has come quite a long way, hasn't it? So it really has, it's know. really exciting to see you know, the NRL women's make a big turnout. It's great to see everyone starting to tune in as well. It's, 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 it's a great opportunity for women to get the appreciation for how hard they work in sport. And it was International Women's Day yesterday too, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, and you've got a lot of great journalists like, you know, um, Erin Mullins and uh, Danica Masons. I mentioned Lara Pitt uh, and Vonnie, you know, there's, there's quite a few, so. You know, there might be a future there. Hopefully someone from Fox or Channel 9 is watching this. <laughs> um, so y you said you had some devastating knee injuries, which is really a shame for someone so young as yourself. Yeah. But what did you, did you grow up playing rugby league? Did you play netball? A lot of girls I did. I originally grew up playing hockey for a few six, five, five to six years. Um, then I don't know, I kind of just got over it. My mum has been a diehard West Tiger supporter her entire life. <laughs> so I've grown up watching NRL since I was, since I couldn't remember. So eventually when I stopped playing hockey, my mum was like, why not try and play rugby league? And I guess the rest is just history. You know, rugby league is just, it's just a great game. I love the sportsmanship in there, you know, playing with everyone and, you know, making great friends and always just being able to run off each other. It's a great atmosphere on and off the field. Yeah, so I grew up playing rugby league from when I was a very young boy. And you do, you make, 
you know, lifelong friends, you know, going to training and that camaraderie with your teammates, it's a, it's a special thing. It is a special thing. It's truly my closest and bestest friends who I've made are from rugby league and those people are going to be my lifelong friends. So, you know, I really do encourage kids in all ages and all areas to participate in rugby league. It, it's, a, it's truly an experience that it can't, it can't be matched to anything else. So I'm a former Botany Ram. I grew up in the Botany area and they're looking for players. If anyone, boys or girls, want to have a run, head to the Botany Rams socials. But where, what about your junior club? Where were you from originally? Um, I'm from the Bankstown Canterbury area, but I grew up playing rugby league for Team Gabby Tigers. So the Penrith comp. Yeah. Okay. Because I play Oztag around up there as well. So right. I've really had the football look yeah. <laughs> majority of my life on and off season. Well, my... Both my daughters played Oztag, you know, for South and in the reps and all that. They won state comps and all that. So that really was one of the only options a few years back yeah, to play was. tag for girls. But now, obviously, look at this. We've got a pathways now with this 17s, Lisa Fiola. We've got the Tasha Gale 19s. And then we've got the, the Harvey, Norman. Harvey Norman Women's Premiership. And then you've got the WNRL. So we're hoping the Rabbitohs get a team in there eventually. But the, the WNRL, I mean, it was unheard of 10 years ago. And look at it now. Yeah, it, it's really, honestly, I can't express how amazing it is to have, to see women playing sport. I feel like it, it's really encouraging and inspiring for all girls of age who want to make a career in rugby league because it's actually possible now, mm. whereas back then it wasn't really talked about. It wasn't about. at all. So we've got a 6-4 lead to the Bears here now. You do know a couple of the girls in this Lisa Fiola team. Um, they, they, what do they need to do in the second half? Well, the Bears have been very dominant currently, being on um, on their plays. Um, strict on their defence as well. They're really coming up as a line, the Bears. I think the Souths need to just play it safe, take their tackles one by one before they start, you know, getting a little bit fancy on the ball play. Yep. Um, I do think that they need to up their confidence as well. They've been really... They've had their faces down every mistake they've made. They need to... You know, when they make a mistake, keep their head up and, you know, next set they can change and fix that error that they made. Okay, so Amani, what's your last name? Darwich. Remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. And if you want to stay around for the rest of this game and then the Tasha Gale, you're welcome to do that. I will. Thank you. Well, there you go. Our special guest today, Amani, how do you say it? Dal Darwich. Darwich? Cool. So, um, that was good. A bit of bit of filler for the halftime break. Um, I'll just show you a couple of sponsors. George's cameras in there at George Street City. You get the light rail to the QVB or the next stop if you want to go. But if you get off at the QV, QVB and just walk for about five minutes, you go into George's. Tell them Bunnies TV sent you, and you can get a camcorder like the one I'm filming on now, or you can just get a you know a, a DSLR camera or. A, um, you know, a lens, whatever you, whatever you need. They've got all your needs covered at George's Cameras. And I'm also, the Bunnies TV are also supported by the Juniors, and that's the Juniors Kingsford there. That photo was taken with the Bunnies TV drone. That's the Juniors Maroubra. And we've also got the Juniors Malabar. And that th there's Malabar Bay in the background. And all three of those clubs in March, it's half price drinks so membership's only eleven dollars so in the first couple of shouts you get that money back there it is there between five and seven every day in march at the juniors group of clubs proud supporters and there's the membership there so look if you pay for 10 years 87 dollars eight dollars seventy a year you get like i said you get it back you get discounted food at all three venues so yeah you can follow us on instagram bunnies tv au put up a lot of stuff there please subscribe to youtube for free so hit that subscribe button follow us and the socials we're on all the socials tiktok we're big there um yeah so that we'll look at the we'll be back shortly with the second half
two, 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 two. Two, two. Okay. Wow. A Masters in Advanced Media. Oh, well, you're welcome at Bunnies TV anytime. And here come the South girls for the second half. If you want to write for bunniestv.au, you're happy to... You, oh, well, you'll sign, sign you up. We're on. We'll, we'll, sweet. Oh, we'll talk about that. That's perfect. So, yeah, so we, we have got a website, bunniestv.au. And go on there, follow that, bookmark the page. I always some great piece, some great writing from a lot of uh, yeah. different contributors for uh, Bunnies TV. A great story from Josh Kemp from his time over in Las Vegas. He went and watched U2 at the Sphere. And U2, U2 and the Rabbitohs. U2 and the Rabbitohs, and it was just a great little diary from Kempy in Vegas. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win. It was a, it was a horrible game in the second half. The less said about it, the better. But anyway, <laughs> Thursday night we're back. We've got the Renault Broncos at SunCorp. And let's just shake that off and hopefully we can get a win. But the second half's kicking off now. Oh. Ooh. Oh, well, Callan. Jeez, that's a great take. Here we go. The number 15 there. Uh, that's uh, Rehute. Depth here. Mm. Well, it's the start we wanted. Really getting a roll on. Good quick play. The ball's going on here. Here's Manu. Oh. oh great, great run. Here we go, McGregor. Sending it out to, to Calland again. Hannah Callan having a really great uh, start to this half. Loves that. Here we go. McGregor just nicely in behind the line. It's a wobbly kick. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, looks like um, it's a goal line dropout. The Bears have fallen on it first. Yeah. Jeez, great opportunity there for South. Really good, um, really good way to start this um, second half. Now, I think the, the Bears player was in front of the... the uh, her teammate there, but that's okay in the in end goal. In the, in the yeah, end there's goal. no, uh, no offside. Yeah, no yeah. offside in the end goal. That's but it was right. A, it was a real let off, and it was a dream set to start. And the great kick rolled into the end goal. So let's see if we can capitalise. Oh, here we go, Manu. Oh, off the back fence here, Lalani. Yeah. Go, Manu, passing it on. Rahute, geez, she's, she's going strong. Oh, the, but the Bears defense still solid. Here we go. Oh. Big pass there from Manu. Here we go. Uh, and it's Talanoa over in the corner. Michaela Talanoa. Gets on the scoreboard for South Sydney. What a great start for the Souths in the second half. They've really put the Bears on their back foot and they've really capitalised off those errors. So great job to Souths. Yeah, so it was a great couple of early tackle runs and then we had the numbers out wide. We had them shot the bits and it was a nice cutout pass. And Talanoa. Yeah, I think that was uh, Manu throwing out that uh, cutout pass. Yeah. Yep. And so Michaela... Talanoa, the centre. There was a... Is she related to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Fatuli, is it? Yeah, Fatuli Talanoa, that's right. Well, I don't know. We'll have to Ex, ask uh, her. Ex-South Winger, that's right. right. Yeah. Um, it might be his daughter. I don't know if he's that old, but uh, it could be... They could be related. We'll have to We'll have to find out. If anyone in the live chat can help us out with that, um, please do. But, yeah. Talanoa, he scored quite a good few tries for the Rabbits, and there she is in the number three jersey. Michaela, and it's funny. We is, got that, is that go? I mean, Talanoa. Does that um, particularly Talanoa? Is that 15 years ago or so? Yeah, it, it, about that. Was, was it just before? Maybe we, we made our. Hang on, we'll watch. We'll watch Kiara kick, kick it's this. A possibility. Go. Just we go moves in. This is a, got the distance. No, no it just didn't have the legs. But 
I think Talanoa was just before we, we made our grand final run in 2014. I, I could be wrong. You said 15 years, Milo. I think you could be right there. So that was 10 years ago. So, and that, the score is 8-6 uh, um, South Sydney at the moment. And there she is right on camera down there, the try scorer. So, whoop, just hit the zoom too much. But, yeah. Nice try. Good, Good take. Time. She's still at the catch it. And, and the, the line was wide open. Don't you love that when you get the ball in space and there's no one in front of you? I know I used to like it, but <laughs> didn't happen often enough. Just pin the ears back and put it down. It's the best. Cassidy gets underway with a short kick. Oh, great take again from the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Jeez, uh, I think that was um, uh, Olivia Jarrett. Well done. Oh. Well, we've got an 8-6 lead now. There's 25 minutes Actually, left. Oh, I'll take that back. It was April Chapel taking that. I thought so. The second yep. row. Yeah, the Sorry. try scorer. Yeah, the try scorer. Yes. Yep. So a two-point right. two lead. It's just what we needed. We're full of confidence now, the Rabbits. Here we go. Lalani taking it up. Manu. Oh, there she goes. Throws a dummy. And, oh, she's away. Taking it up to the 20. Jeez, we're getting on a roll. A quick play the ball. That's exactly what we needed. Here we go, McGregor. Oh, no, that looks could be a shepherd. No, she, she's ran behind a player, but the rest let it go. And fair enough, there, there were no there were no defenders there. Here we go, Manu passing on to Laleni. Last one. Oh, that was the last. So, well, yeah, we didn't need that. I think. Anyway, we've got them camped in their own 10 meter zone. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we can defend well and uh, and get some good field position at the end of this. Uh, Attacking set from the Bears. Oh, jeez. Oh, Cassidy was nearly through there. The commentator's curse there, Milo, nearly. I know. <laughs> Welcome to everyone live chatting. Apologies if I haven't been able to respond because there's a bit going on, but we'll get when there's a break in play, I will have a look. Oh, Halland. Big defence again. She's had a great, uh, great day in defence too. Oh, good oh, shot. Solid. Yes. 15 yards. Yeah, that's uh, Tierra. Uh, well, uh, Rahut, yep. Rahutai, oh, I think. Well, I think it's Rahutai. Yeah, he thought about he, it, didn't he? He had, he had it in the, the whistle mouth. and he had the arm and then he just stopped. He threw the dummy with the whistle. <laughs> he just thought he'd let it, let it play, let it roll, ref. That's good. And, and now oh, he's giving it an arm. Commentator's curse again. No, he's not letting it roll. We just sort of... Wow, one minute it was going to be South Ball, and now it's a penalty. That's how it can turn. Is that McGregor there? The halfback, the captain. Yeah, McGregor was involved in that tackle, yes. He's protesting her innocence, uh, but no, unfortunately. Yeah, McGregor, she's a New South Wales CHS representative. And you can see why her kicking game is a big part of this team, the left footer. We need to defend now, we need to keep this lead. As the SG ball Tasha Gale girls walk out for their warm up. So, we will be broadcasting the Tasha Gale after this. This stream will end and we'll start a new stream for the Tasha Gale clash. 11 a.m. See you then. Great way to start the Saturday with some good footy. Yeah. It's a super Saturday. It is a super Saturday. And then the Harold Matts and the, and the ball. Oh, are there's up. an offload there from the Bears, but a great tackle there from Brightwell. Jeez. Here she is again. Oh. Good work from the marker. Oh, and there's Brightwell again. Oh, so one player down here in the back, back play. Oh, first down here. Yeah, Rahutai, she's, uh, she's limping around. Yeah. Might need to she might need to come off. I'm lucky there, the ref stopped it because, we were, like you well, said, we were a man down in the, in the line or a, or a girl down. Yeah, no, Rahutai's go coming down. off. So we're going to need someone to quickly come off the bench, are we? Gonna, is the ref going to wait for that? Well, I think. So there we go. Just check. Might have been a head knock, I think. Yep, it is. Yeah. I think so. Anyway, we'll get back to the action. Here we go. Um, oh, it looks like our uh, number 18, um, uh, Michaelo Harris, is coming out. Yeah, we need to get her out there. They're going to wait for her. Lalani Michaelo Harris, number 18. Yep, to get, get out a there. run. Here we go. Fresh body on the field. Yep. Straight into the middle of the field. Fresh legs. This This will help. Oh, nice little oh kick no. behind the line from Cassidy, but a great take. 
And was that the replacement? It was, yeah, it was, was Harris. Great work from Harris straight away. Kicked the straight to her and she... Here we go. Took it well. Great, great run. And there's the try scorer, Talanoa, taking it up to the 20. Oh, oh. Uh, hey. A little push there. That was, a, <laughs> that was dangerous, but you can't do that in when you got the ball. Just play the ball and move on. But anyway, she got away with it. That was a uh, HIA sub as well. So. Okay, so that doesn't count in the total. Uh, That's right. Dallas, yeah. Unless she stays off, and then it, it does, I suppose, doesn't it? Or, or no, I don't no, know. Either way, either, either way. It's, uh, Here we go, Alo Ali'i. No, so it does count, I suppose. It does count. It? If they, yes, that's good. We'll, we'll count if it's... Uh, yeah. Brightwell onto McGregor. Little kick, kick behind the, the line. Good kick. Here we 20. go. Oh, good great chase. take there from the Bears, number five. And a good chase. That's what we needed. But decent field position here for the Bears, girls. Let's see if the Souths can Oh, Brightwell them. again. Gee, she's, she's an absolute tackling machine. That's beautiful well, work Brightwell. there. So I tell you what, Sophia Brightwell, she's 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 really put the Bears off their game with that uh, with that tackling. She has. She's had a uh, massive start in the second half here. Yeah, so I'm sorry for not, like I said, watching the live chat too much. It is 8-6. I'll just show you the score. But there's 20 minutes left here in this round six Lisa Fiola clash. And, yeah, welcome to everyone who's live chatting. We have got some channel members in there, and we get, often get responses to different questions. But oh, yeah. we're oh, taking, yeah. taking the time. Oh, they're they're, got they're a, missing one in the scrum. Yeah, okay. Let's so. see how Souths utilise this. Well, the, the, here's the first. The yeah, number so 10 actually went, feeding the scrum. They went, they went. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's usually not on, is it, Milo? But <laughs> no. Anyway, that's sweet. Set play. Oh, oh. Set, oh, but the Bears were up for it. Cassidy Good was Steve, there uh, on the spot. Went very Jeez, early the scrum um, there. I thought so too, uh, Dallas. Oh, that was a <laughs> broke a little bit too Jeez. early. Too easy to read. <laughs> Here we go, oh. McGregor. Show it. It's a bit, getting a little bit scrappy in the uh, little bit of pushes and shuttle. Oh, there's another one. The yeah. girl's getting a bit restless. Oh, big hit from Cassidy there in that tackle. Jeez. Uh, she <laughs> she's really... Work, worked uh, her over. Oh, um, hey, Talanoa won't take any of that. Here we go, Harris. Oh, no, oh sorry. I forgot. Is that number eight, 18? Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh big ball. pass from Manu on to Talanoa. Talanoa. She's trying for a... She's out. Oh, no, she's out. Go over the line. Well, it was a similar play to the try that was scored before, but this time the Bears adjusted, and uh, when she got the ball, the line wasn't li wide open. She had a winger outside of her. I think she was covered too, so you can hear it. We've got a... Got a Bit of vocal support in the crowd here for the Bears. So I confused Lolenny with Harris uh, there for a minute. Okay. No, but that was. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get, of course, we get it right at the end of the day. We do. That's right. Anyway. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was McGregor. Half there. That's what uh, we need. There we go. Lolenny and Harris involved in the tackle there. And again. And again. Lenny just get it, getting stuck in. I think that's the. Uh, oh, oh, geez, that's a terrible play. The ball from Cassidy. Great yeah. call. Yes. Great call by the referee in the touch judge there. Yeah. Great defence by the Souths so yeah. again. Yeah, well, the Bears player was just a little bit distracted by what was going on in the tackle, and she forgot about actually well, just she, getting. Well, Shanae Cassidy <laughs> took took exception to that tackle, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. So I think she was looking for something from the referee and, uh, mm. well, sloppy pay, play the ball. She wasn't... Uh, we're going with the front row feeding the scrum here back to back. Yeah. I think we are. Yeah, well, it didn't work last time, but let's hope it does this time. Well, M M Manu's uh, shown that she can... She's got a... Oh, there we go. On to Brightwell from the back of the scrum. McGregor on to uh, Dower. Well, they've right. opened the field numbers up. Here, numbers. here we go. We're going to keep going to the right. McGregor throws a oh, dummy. Oh, she's over. Good. 
great try from Kiara McGregor. Well done. Well, that is why the number 10 fed the scrum, because what that does is lets Kiara McGregor stand out to the right, which he did there. And I'll just go. And it's right. and it's hard to tackle a big body out there in the uh, out in the uh, back line. You, you like having big bodies out there. Yeah. And so I did say she's a, she's a good player and she's got a great kicking game, but she's also got good hands. I've seen her throw some great passes, left and right, torpedo style passing, and so yeah, well coaching, good coaching there from Coach Mick Daly. So. That's why, like I said, that's why the 10 fed the scrum, because we get our, our skill players out where we need them to be. And the Rabbits have taken a 12-6 lead here with 16 to go. This is a real turnaround from the first half where the Bears were really dominant and now South have really come back uh, strong in this half. They have. They have indeed. So. The ending to the first half is what was really what South needed. That getting in that first try has really created that momentum for them to just keep going. Yep. And they really, they really emphasised that in the second half. That's right. So the Bears are winless, and if Kiara McGregor can knock this over, they may well remain without. Well, it will be a two-score game if she can get this over. We. Oh, great. Oh, geez. Just underneath the post, unfortunately. So it remains a one-score game, 12-6. Yeah, three tries to the one. Oh, okay, yeah, three three unconverted tries. So we, we need to score them a bit closer to the post for Kiara and knock them over, but doesn't matter. We have scored three tries to one, and we've been the better side, like Amani said there, in the second half. It was a, a, a dream start for us, the kick wasn't great and we just charged through and got the field position. Let's, let's see how we go with this kickoff here. The Bears... Well, she's last, changed sides uh, now. She's, she's decided she's going to kick it to the right-hand side. Haven't gone more than 10 the, metres. The left-hand side have been taking great catches, so she's going to test our right-hand side. And here we go, Manu. Probably not the person you want to kick off to. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> great, run Takes run. A great run from Manu. Here we go, McGregor. Onto Laleni. 14 minutes to go here in the second half. Oh, Laleni got an offload to Dower. Oh. And here we go. We're at the back. And the cameraman missed that. Apologies for that, but Milo didn't. <laughs> I looked up at the scoreboard. Olivia Jarrett plays the ball at, at 30 metre mark. Rookie mm -hmm. error there. I looked at the 14 minutes. Oh, oh, geez, an offload, but that's. Oh, that back. could be a knock. No, it's knocked back. It's a play on. Yep, play on Brightwell with the ball. Lucky there, could have gone. I know, that was um, McGregor with the ball. Oh, jeez, oh, great. Off, here we go. There's Harris. Numbers left again here. That cut out pass. Here it here comes. Here we go, Manu, what's she going to do? Oh, it's, the girls are oh. it's on in the middle here, Mavo. Oh, jeez. Oh, she's throwing them too. He, uh, oh, another one's throwing them. Yeah. I think uh, Callan is there at the bottom oh, of the. Uh, she's off. She's the Bears girls. Really, she's thrown them. But she's got. Jeez, go Cassidy is, is that? Oh the no, number, number eleven. 11 from the the number eleven. She, she just started throwing them. Pearsall, yeah. Wow. Pearsall wow. and Callan are uh, yeah. I just. Uh, well, I did say not long ago, Mavo, there was a lot of push and shove and niggle and. Yeah. I just not. I did, didn't see what how it started, but it's no. it certainly erupted. Well, they brought back the Biff here at Redfern Oval. That's it's uh, between two old sides. I'm sure there was plenty of Biffo over the years between these two clubs. Yeah, and uh, Reggie Reagan would be happy with that one. <laughs> he would have. But I don't know if I caught what happened. Uh, maybe anyone who can look on the replay or, or hopefully we caught it because I followed the play. But then everyone started charging over to the blue. It, it, was, it was just after the play of the ball. I'm not, did, I missed it myself. I was following the play. We had the overlap. And we, there's the, the Bears, Tasha Gale girls out there. And our ladies are... Up here where we can't really see him. It's going to be interesting here. He's calling out the player. Oh, he's captain and the player. I mean, this, I'm sure she's got to go here because she threw about 15. She was just throwing them. The number 11. She yeah. just kept throwing them. Sent straight off. I don't know. It's been interesting. Mm -hmm. There's always 30 minutes to go. So. Might be unreported bin or say oh. straight off. That's, that's the that's 10. That's 10. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. But has so got, got 10 in the bin. Oh. Jeez, that's a, I'm not sure they've got the right uh, culprit there. But anyway. Yeah, because I, you're, you're right. Hang I, on, I we've got someone else uh, too. I don't 
no, I, oh I, yeah, it's Callan. I think that's, they've got the wrong culprit yeah. there. That's 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 unlucky. That's, okay. uh, <laughs> she was she was yeah. Unless they've got her for running in later on, maybe I'm not too sure they got the right person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I had uh, I had the Bears eleven that was throwing uh, from the start and yeah, throwing Pearsall, the most. Yeah. 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 So the old square up. One in the bin each. <laughs> And yeah. they're going to give South a penalty. Create lots of space now in the game as well. Let's yeah. see who's oh, going right. to benefit off the most. That's right. So it should open it up. Oh, no. Uh, they're giving they're giving Bears a penalty. Oh, wow. So they're, they're oh, hair saying... Uh, He's saying hair pull. Oh, Hannah oh, Callan's up. Signal, pulled hair. Signal hair pull. Okay. Great. Oh, the old hair pull signal. So this is that. And the touch, he was right there to his benefit. He was only standing 20 metres from it. So, oh, that's a young lady, that touchy. So yeah, she's young lady on the old yeah, side. So so she's she can relate to the hair pull. <laughs> but uh, oh, or I can as well. Yeah, you can. Well, you so can I. I, I that, that was I don't know how many times I copped that when I was a young fella as no, well. No, but anyway. no, not as many cameras back then, maybe. No, no, well, no, well, they could get away with it. it it's no <laughs> surprise a front row has pulled off a hair oh, that's pull. Other, that, <laughs> that's poor by South not having the winger yeah, back on the sideline there. Gee, that, that was there to be taken, but it's. It's now rolled down and given the Bears great field position. Well, well they've got th they've got 30 metres out of that. And she was offside there, the, the winger, so she took the tap. Things so have just got a little bit heated here. They're still offside. Game dynamic has changed significantly since the Sindons. Oh. Here we yeah. go, Bright. Brightwell involved in the tackle. She's just, she's just tackling so hard today, uh, Sophia Brightwell. Oh, jeez. Oh, a great hit up there from Sale. Still Sale keeps going. Oh, and it's Brightwell around left, the left legs. Carnage behind. Here we go. The Bears have got numbers out here. Let's see if they can execute this. Rabbits have got a tackle. They've got to lift their defensive intensity with a man short. Uh, Alawali uh, involved in the tackle there, stopping the Bears. Cassidy on the Sale. Sale, the rampaging sale is uh, still going, just short of the line. Just a slide here. And Cassidy looking for the line. Oh, no, she's, she's tackled just it, short. But the ref well, was right there. Well, play the ball. Oh, oh she's, she's, she's trying to go one. from dummy yes. half. Yes. Great defense. Great defense by the Souths. Lucky there, the ball so was there. really awake there, the South players. That was yeah. great work from the from the rabbits. Coach kill that one. Yeah, lucky because the ball was on the ground and all she had to do was pick it up and dive over, but it's sloppy and a real let off here for the rabbitos. They had, they had numbers out there as well to the right. Yeah, big, big, big let off. So oh, up. geez. Borderline late hit that. Well, yeah, Cassidy got away with one there. That yeah. was. Uh, well, she even square. Jeez. The, the Here so we go. Laleni. Off Good offload from Laleni oh, on the McGregor. Hands. Here yeah. she goes. Oh, Will she kick oh, the ball? No, she's oh, offload. No. She's gone for an offload. Oh, no. oh. oh, knock on from the Bears. It's okay. Oh. It's come up well. Lucky. The Rabbitohs have got away with that one. They did indeed. Lucky there. McGregor looking dangerous and then went for the offload. And, uh, she probably should have thrown it the first time. She, she sort of, then she sort of realised it. But Yeah. Well, Ten minutes so, to go here in the second half. Things are getting, things are still a little bit fiery and bubbly out there. Yeah, yeah. and we really need a set. Love. We need it just to complete a full set. You know, nice, some one out stuff and uh, mm. a, and get a good kick in. I, I think you know, rather than thinking that they need to score, they're in front of the scoreboard, and that's how they should treat the game. But it's twelve six. Complete your sets and and uh, camp the bears down their own end. I do find interesting, Mavo, that the, with the sin bin, they sit the girls so close together. Back in your day, a sin bin, <laughs> I don't think that no. have, you, have you guys anywhere near each other. No, you used to have to go up in the, go up in the, yeah, well, in the tunnel, I think. But Here we go, Dower on to... Well, it's a hot we'll day, so, you yeah. know, little scrap-ups are just natural. Everyone's restless and tired in the heat. And there is only... 10 minutes to go, so they'll only get back on for a few minutes, those girls. So the remainder of this game will be fought out with with 12 players either side. Here Plenty we of go. space. Manu on the Harris. Great take by Harris. Well, she's been good since she came on, Harris. Yeah. Been really full of running. It's been very yeah. vital for attacking defense for South. Oh, Talanoa, can she stay in? No. Oh, no, she's over. Unlucky, by, unlucky for the South. Great take by the Bears. I haven't seen. 
Well, I did say you've got to lift your defensive intensity when you're a man down, and that's what the Bears did there. They covered that right up the, up the grandstand side well, and now they're going to get the ball on the 40 with a chance to try and level the scores with the nine minutes left. Well, Coming back out now from the HIA. Yeah, I don't know if she's passed it or failed it. Just okay. Oh, Rahutai. She's just yeah. come out. Okay, and we'll just show you the... There's our sin bin players, and they're sitting right next to each other, so you know, being well behaved at the moment. And she's sat back down on the bench. It's, it's a great little offload. Mm. Oh, so she possibly failed the HIA by her reaction down there. I tell you what, Sa Sale for the Bears had a great game. She has. She's been so, she's she's just been uh, hard to stop going up through the middle. There we go. Oh, the Indiana Carroll, nice run from Indiana Carroll there for the Bears. Geez, they're well and truly on the on the go now. Oh. And there's a try scorer, a tour, taking a few players with her. She's up to the 10. <coughs> Here we go, Cassidy. What will she do? Oh, she's looking to go straight through. Good tackle. Oh, lost the ball. she's lost the ball. Lost the ball. Oh. Wow. Well, well that, was, that was dangerous looking there, uh, Amani. They, they had them shot to bits, and if they didn't drop the ball there, I was expecting a Bears try, and it didn't come. Yeah, I was thinking the same as well. Souths weren't coming up in their lines together. It was creating lots of holes, and Bears had just seen that and wanted to take that opportunity is just mm. unlucky with the exec um, execution. Yeah, so yeah. Sh real Shanae level. Cassidy's been trying really hard for the Bears, the number six. Um, she's she's really uh, had, a, had a good go in defence and attack, but uh, yeah. Now, she, she's probably feeling a bit fatigued now with uh, seven minutes to go. She's had, a, she's had a pretty big game in both defence and attack, so. So welcome to everyone who's live chatting. We've got Paul Cullen, channel member, has given us $20 in the live chat. Thanks, Paul. You can see how it Much stands appreciated. out there. PC, the Wagga Whiz. There we go. Legend. Here's McGregor oh, throwing so a dummy. Yeah. Getting through. She's up to the 30. She's really opening up here for the backs. Here we go. Six, just over six minutes to can go. Can we put this game away? Here we go. Chapel onto Dower. And there's Gord. Oh. Not long side. Oh, no. That's not, oh, sorry. That's... Is that Jarrett? Yeah, with the, she's got the headgear on now. So there is plenty of space. We want oh, to no, see. that's number 14. That's, sorry, that's Rushworth out there on the wing. Emma okay. Rushworth's out on the uh, right-hand wing for South at the moment. Here we go. Huge gap on the right-hand side. So let's see if South can utilise this gap. Mm. Oh, there's plenty of space. We want to see tries. A couple of tries. Here to we finish. go, McGregor. What will she do? Oh, it goes Stop. through. Uh, offloads uh, to Dower. Oh, Dow is unfortunately yeah. thrown oh, over the sideline. Oh. The Bears centre has really done a great job. That's just the third time she's put someone out over the sideline there, the number four for the Bears. That's nice. Martin, Alicia Martin. She's good work from really Alicia good, Martin. Really good in defence. She's put three times out someone out over the sideline. She's levelling it out for the Bears. It's five minutes to go, it's anyone's game. Now, let's see if we, we can't keep them camped down in there in their own uh, 20 for a little while. And if you want to donate in the live chat, there's a little dollar sign down the bottom right. Oh, oh, helps yes. us out here on Bunnies TV for the work we do. Great run there from the number 15, uh, Yamuni. Souths are getting a little bit fatigued. And mm. Bears are making uh, good yards uh, in this set. Two tackles oh. in and they're up to the good halfway. Hands. What a pick up by the winger. Oh, so now need to start walking, running up together in a line and stop letting oh. all these little gaps come through. Oh, and here we go, oh. Sale again. Oh, great, great tackling there from the Rabbits. Yep. Shut it that, down. That's uh, Aloali with that tackle. The here we go, two of the try scorer. Throws one out the back to Martin. Martin oh, through. Tucker. Oh, jeez, oh. she's... Oh, what a tackle. Great oh, tackle. great tackle from great Brightwell. Tackle. Brightwell again. Brightwell again. Brightwell's had a massive game. Oh, jeez, she's tripped up. Oh, jeez, oh, oh, great, great defense. Great defense from the Rabbits. Great defense by the Souths. Brightwell's got her hands on his. She's really put an effort in today. They really oh. needed to hold out, and they did, so... Oh, and it's a, oh, and it's cha changeover. That was the last tackle. Great was. work from the... Jeez, well, the Rabbits have just been so... 
Such a great um, sca um, scrambling. scrambling defense. Thanks, uh, Dallas. Yeah. Well, it was inspirational there. It was it was desperate defense. The game was on the line. They score under the post there. It's 12 all, but now we've got the ball and they really need to complete a set here. They're a good exit set here. Talanoa with the ball. Oh, geez. It's really important that they play it safe right now. Exactly. Any forced errors could really change the game for them. It would be upsetting. And here we go. Chapel. Yep. True that, Amani. It's just oh, a. No. Casey, sorry. Just hold the ball, get your kick, and get it out of here. It's south to lose from here. Oh. Oh. There is only three minutes 30 left. Oh, oh. he's dropped the ball. Alicia Big Gordon. Hit. Gordon's dropped the ball there, unfortunately. Yeah, well, commentators curse there. We did oh, say. Oh, yeah, Gordon, <laughs> unfortunately, has dropped the ball. Yeah. Well, it's game on now. Three minutes to go. It's 12-6 to South. Big hit. It was a big hit. I think it was number 15 for the Bears. Judea Yamoni. We've got the number Came eight. Came in and just really ruffled her up. They're bringing the number eight back on with a few minutes to go by the looks of it. Fresh legs. Yep. There's the... the, the oh, they're coming back. Is it the, it's the sin binners are back on. So we're back to 13 we go. 13. Oh, this this is good. Helen has been excellent in defence. We really need her now. Yeah. I can tell you that. So push in and, and compress that line, girls. We need to stop one of these raids and what's he doing here the ref he's having a he's he's gonna let it well, come whatever, into the scrum whatever there we way go. it's been th th that's taken 30 seconds off the clock which is yeah. really handy <laughs> for south he didn't call time off so <laughs> we'll take that so now there's two minutes 34. oh no, oh, no, it no, no oh, two has finally picked it up yeah south needs to just take their time she's gone for a little offload well wrapped up there so that's that step of one Okay. Casey wrapping up, wrapping her up. Two high. minutes, eighteen to go here. It's now or never for the Bears. Oh, oh. great tackle! Cassidy Two. with the ball. She Looking for their first win of the season. Oh, sails! We're going for the barge over play here. Well, she's been hard to hold out, but great defence from oh. the Rabbits. Two minutes to go. The intensity is really through the roof right now. Oh, Here we go. Cassidy looking to get over the line. Oh. Held up. Oh, held up. No, no, oh, it's, try. it's a try. Oh, it's a try. Oh, no. Cassidy's gone over. Sinead Cassidy. Let's save the amount of time left. I'm going mad down here. The, the Bears they fans. Really need, they really need to rush this kick, Mavo, and then they might get the ball off the kickoff. But it, uh, there's been no urgency to take the kick here. No, nah, well, I think that's going to be it. And I think if she knocks this well, over, yeah. we're going to be looking at a... If they run out, they had a quick, took the quick kick, there'd be a minute still to go. They could yeah. still make the kick off. I think that's wishful thinking. Uh, but that's, that's, the way yeah, I'd be, that's the way I'd be going <laughs> with it, Mavo. Yeah. But, I mean, a draw, I mean, if she kicks this, the 12 all draws probably rep, you know, represents that both teams' efforts were pretty, pretty fair. And Darren Finlay, channel member, has given us a, a super sticker or a super chat for $5, mate. And thank you for that. Uh, much appreciated. Like I said, we do this off our own bat. We're not you know, paid by the Rabbitohs or anything. It's an independent business, Bunnies TV. So all the donations count. And I really do appreciate you supporting the show, whether it's through donations or as a channel member. And we've got an important kick here. Who scored that try? Did we? Uh, Cassidy. Sinead Cassidy. Oh, uh, five eight. Yeah, the 5 eight. <sighs> Yeah, she's... She's had a, bi a big game and, and probably well deserved for her, for her efforts today getting a try. She's really tried hard and she's been big in defence and and, um, and she's had a, a hand, hands on the ball a lot in, in attack. So a uh, really good reward for effort for her. And she's got the kick to give her team one point because there's 20, 19 seconds left. This will be it. You'll hear the hooter go after this kick. And if she knocks this over, there's a point for the Bears. She comes in and it's over. <laughs> if she'd missed that, it might have been a retake too there, Mavo, because a couple of South girls ran out at the Rugby Union style. <laughs> the 12-ball draw. But the North Sydney uh, fans are really happy. There's a, there's a nice loud contingent to our right. and uh, Yeah, uh, they, it's, a one, uh, it's a draw, so they get a point each. 12-all draw, one point each in the competition. Well, it's a great comeback from the Bears. They really needed this try to really secure the game. Here it is updated on the scoreboard now, 12-all. Well, okay, so we have only got 12 minutes till the next stream comes on. It's the, the Lisa Fiola, uh, the, sorry, the Tasha Gale clash as the girls shake hands. Uh, it was a good game, I thought. Uh, you know, could have gone either way. And I think in the end, 
you'd have to say that it was a fitting sort of result because both teams played well at times. They both deserved to win, but unfortunately it was neither of them got the, the two points. It's like I said, it's one point each on the competition table. And I'll just point you out what's going on over here. We've got the, we've got the Tasha Gale girls over there, and we've got our girls coming in now. There they are. So we will end this stream and start a new one. So you'll find that on Bunnies TV YouTube live. So you're welcome to come back and watch the next game. It promises to be a beauty. And there's plenty of talent in our Tasha Gale team. Thanks again for joining me and the Bunnies TV team here at Redfern Oval. And we'll be back shortly with more live streaming on Bunnies TV.